Nalin Kohli, let's take that. You heard Vishnu Jain suggesting that the Places of Worship Act cannot stop a petitioner from claiming the right to worship in the Gyanwapi mosque structure where they claim the Shivling exists, a temple existed. And is saying that if necessary, we will go to Parliament again and repeal the Places of Worship Act that allows for status quo to be maintained. Your response, are we saying now that the Places of Worship Act should be consigned to the dustbin of history? No, Rajdeep. I think uh, as an advocate, and I think you'll have to also see it from the correct perspective of law, a political debate might be different, but mm -hmm. we have, of course, the responsibility of putting out the correct position here. So let's go one by one. Essentially, any act or statute is but a creation of the legislative process. Now, that may be parliament for a law which is across the land, or it may be the state legislature. And it's always in a given set of circumstances. Secondly, no act can be permanent in its exact character. The Constitution of India's first amendment was in 1951. So therefore, mm -hmm. there will be amendments as the situation or circumstances so require. There will be acts and statutes that will be also discarded. Mm -hmm. If I take the Narendra Modi government's uh, track record over the last 7-8 years, some 1500 plus archaic or unrequi not required uh, statutes have been done away with. So the legislative process has its own dynamics, it will continue. The legal process is different. The parliament cannot, for mm -hmm. example, change the basic structure of the constitution of India. But anything else can be changed. I, However, mm -hmm. that is subject to judicial review, which is part of the uh, basic can structure. I, can I make so it much, no, can I make it more, can I, sir, make it more direct? Act. Can Someone I make can it more direct it to you? Is the place, I don't agree with sir, this. sir, out, uh, you know, at the height of the Ayodhya dispute, the Places of Worship Act was brought by the Narasimha Rao government to ensure it claimed that all religious structures would have to maintain the status quo as existed on April 15, 1947. Are you telling me, Nalin Kohli, that in your view that act should be now amended because a new situation has arisen in Kashi Vishwanath? Today it's Kashi Vishwanath, so. tomorrow it could be some other structure. No. No, I haven't said so. And as a practicing advocate, I understand that dynamics. For example, there will be a set of people, as mm -hmm. uh, today, for example, Mr. Ahmadi was arguing for his uh, clients, mm -hmm. that the places of, I mean, uh, after all, he makes his case based on something. There will be a set of people who will say that the places of worship act cannot be changed. Per contra, the other side is entitled to raise the point that can you eliminate judicial review from something? Or can we not challenge the act? Mm -hmm. So there will be different arguments. What is your what is your view? Court, what is your view? The Honorable Supreme Court, as Justice Chandrachud and Justice uh, Narsimha passed the order, have decided they are going to hear the matter further. Okay. What's my view? My view is in any uh, in any case, it doesn't matter whether it's the case of today or another case tomorrow. In any case, both sides are entitled to put their points of view. In any case, one side is going to argue on the validity and the uh, 1991 act being cast in stone right. and it is equally true that the other side will definitely argue that nothing can be cast in stone and a, and a relevant fact as a shivling as is being believed to have been found there can be ignored. So this is a matter that we are best leaving it to the courts. Okay.